Black. Black. That's the package that you came in. African, Ethiopian, Nubian, Melanin. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an all in one platform to construct the ultimate virtual appeal to aid in your business. Okay, good morning you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Vinny Soleil if you don't know me click the subscribe button today it's Sunday March 20th 8 37 a.m. and I know I'm gonna be honest I definitely could go to sleep till like 3 a.m. last night but it's fine I drank a Mountain Dew last night and I don't know who told me to do that I don't even like Mountain Dew <laughs> I sure was up all night bouncing off the walls. But anyways, you guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys know how to make my quick drink. This is my new thing. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll be drinking this stuff now. So catch up if you don't know. <laughs> that was probably the most lemon I've ever put. Why is it so sweet? Dang, that woke me up. so sweet okay anyway so i have some things i want to get done today honestly y'all i wasn't even gonna film today i really wasn't because I don't like filming when i'm about to start my cycle and pretty much you know where the time has come now my flow apps is i have about let's look <laughs> Um, so that should say enough for you guys. Yeah, I already be know when I'm about to start my cycle because I just start crying over any little thing. Like, I don't know what my issue is. I think because I rarely ever cry when I'm off my period, I think it's just pent up emotions that I just be crying every hour of the day. <laughs> I'm either crying somewhere in a corner or cussing somebody out or sleeping all day. That's something. Like, I sleep all day long. But I was like, Venice, you're not gonna be a bum on your period. That's not stopping nothing. And it's Sunday. And usually this is like the day to get your issues together so that's what we're gonna be doing today something like that the title of the video i came up with the title you know give me my cookies i ain't seen this before i want to start doing serene sundays pretty neat huh i still can't get over how sweet that is i have a few things that i listed out on my phone that i wanted to do today hopefully this video doesn't take up the entire day i would love to have you know part of my sunday to myself i'm honestly proud of myself for even turning on the camera because although i haven't started my period the storm is coming Okay, every time I'm about to start my period, I have to tell my family members because they don't know when I'm about to erupt at any given moment. Honestly, I don't even be know, but you know, I'm feeling good about today. I prayed last night that I would have a good day today. So hopefully, you know, bro up there heard my prayers. I'm the only one up right now. I love being the early bird. Anywho, let me get to what I was gonna do. So I have to open up a skincare package. I got a package in the mail last night and I wanted to show you guys what it was. I need to wash my bedding. Majority of my room is already clean. My bedding is in, so I would love to get the stains out of my sheets. I have to film two promotions today. I made my little detox drink. This is what my detox drink consists of. Because I haven't had this in like three days. But usually I have it every single day. Something that I wanted to prioritize doing today. Because it cleans up my body. Like it makes me, you know, a few times within the day. I wanted to shave my face. Arch my brows. Um, I have some schoolwork to get done. If, if I'm feeling, you know, a little frisky. I may go to Starbucks. Probably going to stay in my bed. But it's, you know, it's fine. I have to fold some laundry. And I need to pick up a few things. Not even too much, but a few things from the store so that's the plans for today but i told you guys at one point in a previous video of mine if you guys didn't follow me for a minute i used to have really really bad period pains and if you guys don't know this is raspberry tea so it wasn't until just a couple months ago that i realized that raspberry tea is really good for period pains and i drink it almost every day now and on top of that i lost a cool amount of weight having me like shedding some pounds i also work out every single day like almost every single day today's my only day off i always, I always take sundays off because god told me to rest today I played on that i actually don't experience anywhere near as significant amount of period cramps that i used to i used to 
really have to lock myself in a room, strip naked, get a heating pad, overdose on my doll. Like, it, it's like something really serious. It was something really serious. I would throw up everything. Like, I couldn't hold anything down. The pains literally felt like contractions. I'm not even, I have no reason to lie. I used to think like I had some type of like disorder because there is a thing associated with having really bad period cramps on top of having a heavy flow. This may be TMI, but honestly, we're all ladies here or gentlemen let's you know man up i also used to get really really bad mood swing i would get very self-analytical and like i'm not saying just like it was very weird how like it was i would switch when i would be on my period and only you know i really knew about this but i would get very like self-conscious and not in the sense of like my body it was also something like everything i did like when it came to editing or when it came to like doing my hair or like my makeup i would overanalyze every single thing but only when i was on my period it's very weird but i think it just intensifies because i'm already a kind of slight person perfectionist off my period so maybe that's why you know well, i don't even know honestly i just i be going through it <laughs> what else did i have really bad trouble with oh i had really bad breakout i blow a lot my period i have to say i gained like at least five pounds on my period but i think that's just my body holds on to water so there's a lot of things that you know i would have to literally like prepare for if i knew my period was coming but as of recently i already knew this back then but when i actually started working out every day and watching you know what i ate foods that i ate i drink raspberry tea now i no longer have to really be on medication and look that severe that's just a little update so i'm gonna probably go put this wig on i'm probably gonna do my hair and look a little bit more presentable for you guys because when i told you guys like i don't always have a lace front on i meant that i don't always you know feel like doing my hair underneath this is my natural hair my cornrows and i honestly don't have no shame in my game you know i'd be looking good with or without the wig <laughs> shave my face as you guys saw I probably do that every two weeks realize that it actually gives you a really smooth finish for your makeup recently I came across the platform Squarespace after hearing all good things about it as a creator to maximize my potential I found that me and Squarespace would work great hand in hand in the midst of me creating my desired website I noticed many cool features Squarespace has to offer for users such as the customizable template layout here I chose my brand motto here to inspire as well as providing viewers with some information on my brand Secondly, I love the feature that allows you to keep track of your website's analytics and sales revenue. And lastly, the option to integrate your digital online store within your own website. Here I show my potential digital product in a short and concise description of what comes within the purchase. Be sure to start your all-in-one website at squarespace.com for a free trial. Once you're sold, don't miss out on 10% off your first purchase at your very own website with my link. And thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Anyways, I got a package last night. I actually ordered this, I want to say like, yeah, probably like two and a half weeks ago. Um, but it shipped all the way from Canada. I saw this girl on my For You page post her skincare journey. I may insert it if I can find it. If I can't, don't hate me. So you're an artist? Yeah. Are you good at it? results were impeccable and one thing that, I, that I've been trying to work on with my skin I've already kind of handled the bumps and stuff I may have a little few breakouts here and there from my cycle coming but I've gotten my skin under control pretty much the only thing I have left to work on is the hyperpigmentation and I was gonna go to Forza Atlanta you guys know them they're a really famous like skincare page they usually do freaking celebrities and I wanted to get a chemical peel done as of recently my skin is nowhere near as bad as it was originally so I just decided to order this if it doesn't work I'm probably still gonna get the chemical peel but you know I just wanted to try it she was selling out so fast did, like a mini stock and I got it just in time when it popped up on my free page. I didn't even go through the review. I just bought it. <laughs> Hopefully this girl don't disappoint. I believe her company name is The Amore K and she ships from out of the country I'm pretty sure because this is Canada. Wait. I'm pretty sure Canada is inside the United States. Let me look it up because I don't like sounding stupid. It's Canada in the U.S. Yeah, it's not in the U.S. That's what I thought. Anyways, it came in this little pink package. I'm excited because I've been using Curology for, I want to say like 
Honestly, I don't know. It's been like six months I've been using Keralic. I've gone through like six bottles, I swear to y'all. Now I'm just kind of trying to clean up the blemishes. Ooh, okay packaging. I just ordered two products off there so she had more to choose from. But I got her dark spot corrector and her clarity cleanser. This has kojic acid and turmeric. This is something you kind of got to be careful with. If you OD on it, it may give you a little bit of the Michael Jackson look. But it has aloe vera juice, shea butter, kojic acid, and then a bunch of other stuff I can't pronounce. But you know, I'm always open to trying new stuff at this point. I'll show you guys the packaging. Come in this really cute little bottle. I love when brands really let forth effort to have cute packaging and then this dark spot corrector. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be using this going forward. If I see me, you know, using a different cleanser, don't beat me up because I stopped using Curology. It did its job. I definitely do recommend though. I wore Curology like three months ago. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. But also, oh, I changed my tapestry. The other one had to go. First of all, from one, I saw everybody using it and I see too much of something that I'm doing, I stopped doing it. And on top of that, I had that when I used to be heavily into like spiritual the universe crap. No offense you guys because I definitely was in the same boat. But I no longer believe in that type of stuff. It's not in alignment with my faith. I had to switch it out for you know a cute little scripture just to be safe. I thought it was gonna look bad because it was white and black and I really would have liked the background to be black and the letters to be white. But I'm not tripping. It actually kind of makes my room look a little bit bigger now that the whole wall isn't covered. I'm gonna close up if you guys want to see and I got it from Amazon. Here but yeah. Now I'm going to, I'm going to install this wig that this company sent me, Harula Hair. I'll insert the process in which I was dyeing the roots and styling the wig. I filmed this way back in December. I'm pretty sure they sent me this in like, at like early December and I'm just now getting, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Harula. I hate being unprofessional, but I was extremely busy. They sent me a ginger hair wig. It kind of fit the theme of like the whole fall winter vibe, but now that it's spring, it kind of, I mean, I could still do with it. And this wasn't really the color that I was anticipating to wear. It's my first colored wig, but you know, it's fine. Cause I'm going to install that and then I'm going to to do my makeup. Okay, how do we like it, y'all? This is definitely new for me. I actually posted a picture with this hair on my spam. You know, at the time I wasn't really feeling it. I only kind of, I like when it's wet because it looks a little bit darker. Color kind of came real pigmented to say the least. I definitely love the color, but I'd probably get it in like a body wave. I don't know, I'm just so stuck on body wave. I love hair that can be like styled differently. And curly hair is a lot to maintain, but nonetheless, this is the final product. I actually ended up cutting it because I think it came like a bit longer probably Probably. Honestly, I think it came in like 24 inches, 24 to 26 inches, and I cut probably like two to three inches off. Um, just cause I don't know, that was very impulsive of me, but I kind of just didn't really want it to be that long. Nonetheless, I'm not mad at it, but I think it will look way better when I have a little bit of makeup molecules on my face. But if you guys are interested in this hair, this is a ginger 13 by 4 lace part wig. It actually came pre-plugged, so I didn't really have to do too much manipulation. One thing I like about colored wigs as of now, because this is my first time styling a colored wig, when you 
bleach the knot and kind of like overdo it a little bit because especially with this type of color because it doesn't show as much as it would on like a black wig but you know it's something different i wanted to start experimenting with different hair colors because i'm getting tired of the black look not gonna lie i'm gonna just do a quick makeup look something simple i say this every time honestly i don't know we're just gonna have to see <laughs> Instead of cap, then won't you talk about being a broke rapper? M's than a real slim shady. The way we tippy toe, round crack vibe. Pockets empty, so just focus on you. If you broke and clown and a millionaire, the joke is on you. Between you, real niggas, and the motherfucking fraudulent niggas. I'll do it in front of this fucking face. No forever. Damn, that nigga did it how I always wanted to do it, and I'll never be able to do it like that. Bitches are different. They gave us 10 of me. Still sport the skirt with the mute off. I'm the light. Niggas don't smoke, I want it too, but it was. I think I go spread it and rock that where I'm from. Sound of the Rolls Royce right now, sunset. I must get a crib in that lake. Like a sound this dude, just made a meal. Like a fucking nigga finna tell me. I met you last night, baby. Why don't y'all pay attention? Only one trick to hate The night when you text me that you made it home safe Some place to be nobody I spent too many years living too uncomfortably I don't, I don't do what you do for popularity They feel I'm saving souls and y'all complaining about my lateness Taking all my land back They said a lot against me thinking I, I'm a messenger, you block me, then you block the message Believe me sweetie, I got enough to feed the meat And rendezvous at the bar around two Plans to leave, came to do, ain't that right boo? I want a dude with the wicked answer. I want a dude who would do me in his van. I fell back and turned to his biz like a man. Got somebody. The beauty, truly. Take good care of me. Like it's a beauty. Uh, eh, eh, uh. It's, it, it's a ride. Like you guys did ever know. Oh, oh. I didn't even mean to do this much makeup, um, but I don't really have much to do today, so I kind of got caught up in the moment. We're well, all done. I think at this point my signature is a wing eyeliner. I'm definitely obsessed. I actually did a pretty good job of trying to clean as I were as I was doing my makeup. Give me my cookies. But again, if you guys are interested in this hair, make sure you guys shop Perula Hair. All of the information will be down in the description. I don't know for sure if they gave me a promo code, but if they do, of course, it will be down below in the description. Thank you so much, Perula Hair, for sending me this unit. Let's carry on with our day. got another package ordered this last night to have it be delivered now so it was overnight shipping with Amazon I probably should get a reoccurring membership for these because I order them at least every two months but I love them I love essential oils so much I put these oils in my diffuser and in my hair and one thing I can say is rosemary and tea tree oil I've been using on my hair for probably like it has to be like seven eight months now it's a year that I've been doing it and I really do feel like it helps my hair grow I put it on my brows every time I don't have a frontal on I put it on my edges I 
I oil my scalp very often actually, but that's the only thing I really do as far as hair care. I don't know if I have a thing for this type of stuff because I literally love smelling any of the smell of a lot of chemicals. I like the smell of gas. I like the smell. I literally just smell everything. So I think this is why I like it. Some people don't think it smells that good, but I like it. And eucalyptus oil helps me go to sleep at night, so I put it in my diffuser. I get this rosemary oil. And Crafts Blend, this is my favorite essential oil brand. It comes with actually a good portion of oil. It actually, I wanna say this lasts me like two months if I'm rationing around here. Then I get eucalyptus. This is what I put in my diffuser. What is this one? Oh, tea tree oil. Yeah, my mom put me onto the stuff. She started using it for her hair, and then I just got into it. But this tea tree oil. But yeah, that's my little mini haul. I really am obsessed with them so much. I literally have a stash. It's about to be one o'clock, and I still haven't eaten anything other than my tea. I'm about to go eat some Indian food leftovers. I've been eating Indian food for like the past two weeks now straight and I don't know if I should keep doing that because when you eat a lot of beans it starts to pack on after a while and that's definitely what it's been doing the people that I get it from they cook with a lot of oil Oh my gosh, y'all are literally blowing up my phone about this picture. I posted a picture of me in this hair. <laughs> I love y'all, y'all are so sweet. My DMs are just filled. My DMs are just filled with you guys boosting my head up. I don't know why y'all keep doing this. How am I supposed to be humble and y'all show me this type of love? So I'm gonna sit down, finish my food. This is so good. Y'all, when I like something, I will eat it, use it, listen to it, drink it to the death of me. It's very rare that I find something that I like and I can eat it consistently without being sick to my stomach. Probably isn't the healthiest option because only because they like eating a lot of beans can get a little bit fattening. And also, like I said, they use a lot of oil on this. But so, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna chill out. You guys, so I'm at I'm outside of the Starbucks. I ordered a vanilla bean frappuccino, but they didn't. I asked for no whipped cream because it's not vegan, but they still gave it to me. And honestly, I'm not even tripping because they look really stressed. I got something to eat because my anxiety right now is like through the roof. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm trying to be as clean as possible. I freaking left the dang paper on it. 
that's why you can't take me outside. Because I act like I don't have any home training. But I haven't gotten anything done. I'm trying not to whisper because there's a group of football coaches right across from me. They're talking about how they're going to be coaching and all this stuff. So I'm trying to not cause any concern myself. I'm hungry. So hopefully this doesn't. Oh, they also didn't have the vanilla bean powder. So she was using a substitute instead. Oh, let me take a picture. I haven't gotten a thumbnail yet. How do I make this look pretty? This is not good. And she told me she was like, ew, and there's sh inside of it, bro. I don't want this. And it's not vegan. I was really just trying to be nice. But she was like, if you don't like it, we can give you a different drink. Cool, because um I don't like this. I'm about to go home, bro. I'm ready. This is why I didn't want to come outside because people will be pissing me off. I don't like this and I don't want it. Why am I paying for something that I don't even like and it's not vegan? Oh, there go 12. I'm trying to think like what what other vegan option is there at Starbucks? drinks i don't want caffeine either but i don't know why she would put like i mean i'm not gonna be mad okay don't get upset me let me i'll be back i'll i need to recoup so i went back inside and i told her i didn't like it she offered to make me another frat but without whipped cream like i asked for the first time i ended up getting a caramel frappuccino and i guess that comes oh i also moved because i don't know why I, like they ain't never seen nobody talk to a camera before i'm getting anxiety <laughs> Um, I'm hungry and I'm ready to go home. I haven't even gotten an ounce of work done. I'm actually trying to get some use of this. Yeah, so I ended up getting a caramel wrap, but I'm telling her, I'm like, the caramel's automatically going to be not vegan. Caramel's not vegan. And then she's like, oh, I can take out the caramel drizzle part. And I guess that's the actual caramel, but the caramel syrup is vegan. And I was like, okay, bet. We did that and I'm still hungry. So I ended up getting um, some salt and vinegar kettle potato shit. And if these aren't even good at this point, Starbucks, it is together. So many people, like, I don't know why it's so busy on a Sunday. Can you go home, please? I'm trying to be as cleanly as possible. Okay, that's not bad. I can work with that. I should've just ordered a water, bro. Dang, 12 is all everywhere. Recording. Honestly, I'm about to. I'm about to go. As soon as she made my drink, I'm about to go. I'm hungry. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I don't know why I get like this, but I don't know. When there's too much, like, what is it called? Um, what is it called? Stimulation. When there's too much stimulation, like, first of all, seeing these cars go past, like, I haven't heard them stop. Like, I haven't just seen the road clear for five seconds. And then, I don't know where everybody's going. It's Sunday. Like, and then, people can't even get my order right. And then, I haven't even gotten any work done. Like, I'm sick of this. I'm ready to go. I'm about to go. As soon as she makes my order, I'm leaving. I think I had too much coffee today. That's why my nerves are really bad. And I'm hungry. I'm to think, what do I have at home? Because all of these food spots, I don't eat. I don't eat Chick-fil-A. I don't eat Bojangles. Hibachi, no. <laughs> One thing I can say is my makeup actually feels comfortable to wear. Typically, I don't like my makeup on for like more than an hour. But y'all, so I realized there's a technique that you were supposed to do to make your makeup like last. Like to the point where you can get a napkin and just wipe it and it not transfer. Am I the only one who did not know this? Oh, I'm talking about setting spray. But I knew you were supposed to use setting spray. I didn't know you were supposed to like drench your face in it. Like you're literally supposed to just drench. <laughs> I'll practice my makeup just because I'm bored and it's kind of therapeutic in a way But you're literally like supposed to drench your face in setting spray And then I got a little fan and you fan it out and then when it's set when you wipe it, it doesn't come off Who would have thought am I the only one who did not know honestly? Well, I'm not even really into makeup actually I won't say that I do wear makeup often But I don't like learn anything new other than what I've known since like freshman year I wonder if people recognize me because I saw a few people I know I wonder if they think I look like freaking strawberry shortcake Hold on. I think they're almost done Okay, so this is, are they still there? They've been here for five hours, bro. Literally, can y'all see them? Hold on. Okay, <laughs> I think they go to my school. I didn't know football coaches had meetings about what they're gonna do in practice. Anyways, what is this? This is, why is it? Yeah, if this is not good, I'm gonna have something to say. Y'all, I really be trying to, when people get my order wrong, bro, I be so mad inside. Like, I really be wanting to cry. 
cry bro. especially because i'm vegan so it's harder to get i feel like i mentioned this every video but at this point it's part of my identity so y'all are just gonna have to get used to it but i feel like it's harder to be satisfied or be pleased when you're ordering out and be vegan and on top of that people can never get the fucking people can never get the order right hopefully this is good that's good this tastes more like a vanilla bean wrap than the other one What are you doing? Where are you going? Are you ready to come get me? Are you ready to leave? Yes, this is ghetto. I was going to say, you said you wasn't doing this ever again last time and now you're back. No, I'm just, I just didn't want to be outside in the first place. And now that I'm outside, I'm remembering why I didn't want to be outside. And ever why? since, ever since the, um, I'm filming. Ever since the incident, my anxiety has been off the roof. Through the roof. Oh yeah, through the roof. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> so, you know, if you're ready to come rescue me, I'll be here waiting. Girl, you should have never went. <laughs> okay, I was trying to be productive. It's a nice day outside. All right, I'll leave in a second. Bye-bye. Do y'all hear this girl? She's laughing at me. Why are you looking at me, weirdo? I'm so, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Bless me. I don't know why I left the house. I didn't want to leave. I literally said at the beginning of the video, I did not want to go anywhere. I wanted to stay home. Oh, they're a cute little middle school couple. Look at them being cute. Why is she driving him? Baby, it is not how it goes. Okay, bye, y'all. Okay, what's up? I just made it back home. I don't think I showed you guys all that I got from the store, but I just got some more lotion because I ran out. And then I got some more spray to clean my piercings. Um, I literally got one, like, I want to say, like, two weeks ago. The nozzle fell off, so I can't get the spray out without, you know, literally performing surgery. I just got some more because, ooh, that's just, why is it squirting out like that? Did y'all see that? But, yeah, I've actually been doing a good job with keeping up with my piercings. Um, I got my industrial, like, how long ago? I don't even remember. I think it's been, like, three months. I've been going on board, and it healed pretty nicely. You can see so i'm grateful for that because some people really don't have good experiences with industrials and i literally pray before i got it because some people will get it pierced and their piercer won't tell them that they don't have the right ear anatomy for it so when they end up getting it pierced and a reject they act surprised so luckily my piercer told me ahead of time that no i did have the proper anatomy for it probably gonna chill for a few because i really don't feel like doing much today i told you guys i'm kind of in an end mood so what's up you guys so i'm going to close off this video i know it may sound abrupt but honestly i'm ready to go to sleep right now i'm editing the video to get this up and ready for you guys because i still have to send it to a few companies for approval but thank you guys for spending the sunday with me actually y'all probably made my day a little bit better and took away from the fact that i start my period probably tomorrow morning but nonetheless, you know, I always have a great time with y'all. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. I don't have much else to do. That's why I'm ending this. And tomorrow's Monday and I have school. So I also ended up twisting this part of the hair because I didn't want it in my face while I was editing. Make sure you guys... Oh, let me close my legs. <laughs> Make sure you guys go try out Squarespace. This will be linked down below. Thank you guys for the tremendous amount of support. On the road to 100K. So I'm Anyways, I'm going to see you guys in the next video though.
Bye, guys. I was looking back at the footage, and I realized that something ain't right over here, but y'all are going to act like y'all didn't see it. Okay, bye, guys. I love y'all.